among Filipino soups. Yung sinigang talaga pinaka-favorite. Mm -hmm. Pero the, the, that soup is um, really represent Russian Russian food. Day three of uh, us finding out that we have COVID. So today was kind of up and down. Uh, like a lot of comments, parang jackpot ka dito, ganyan, ganyan. Hindi naman totoo yan. Because we as a, kahit foreigners kami, jackpot din kami sa kanila. Ngayong gabi, isang kakaibang love story ang ating kakikiligan dahil kwentong pang forever ito ng isang lalaking Pinoy at isang babaeng Russian na ngayon sikat na sikat na dahil sa kanilang YouTube channel na meron ng almost 200,000 subscribers at nang lumabas sa wawawi ng babae at umawit ang kantang sirena abay umabot ito sa halos 6 million views Atin ang tunghayan, ang inspiring love story ni na Eric at Anna Bailosis na aming pinamagatang From Russia with Love. Jim, no. wala akong may re-recommend na ibang trabaho sa akin. Sayo namang, pinag-aralan ko, mas stuck lang ako rito. Bro, sinabi ko na sa'yo, kahit eligible pa tayo dito, mahirap makipagkompetensya sa mga Amerikano dito. Girlfriend ko kasi sa California eh. Ayaw ko sundan dito sa ayong gandira ko maasenso. Alam mo, minsan bro, mm. minsan naisip ko, yeah. kaya hindi lang niya talaga ako mahal eh. Kasi diba, pull up ka talaga ng isang tao, Tatanggapin ka niya kahit sino ka pa. Tama. Yun bro. Yun bro ang pangarap ko sa buhay. Makatagpo ng isang babaeng sasamahan ako for better or for worse in sickness and in health. Diba? Tama. Bro, tumutulo na natin ang gawin mo ah. Pero alam mo, hindi kita masisisi. That girl, from Russia yan, pare. Sa tingin mo, kaya mo bang lapitan at kaibiganin yan, bro? Easy lang yan, bro. Ako pa! Oh. <laughs> Gusto mo, pakitaan kita eh. Sige nga. Ha? Oh. Mm. Watch and learn. Sige. By the way, I am Eric. I am tall. I am dark. And I'm Han. Never mind. But I assure you, miss, I'm very, very kind. Pleased to meet you. Tegrobe. Ano? What did you say? Ba't ka ba nagagalit ka agad? Kala naman ito, type ko siya. What are you saying? Oh, hindi naisahan din kita. I said, maganda ka sana kung hindi ka lang suplado. Dahil kapwa sila na nagmula sa ibang bansa na may magkaibang kultura, hindi agad nagkaunawaan sina Ana at Eric sa mga una nilang pagkikita. Pero dahil likas naman kay Eric, ang lakas ng loo. Lumapit ito kay Ana nang minsang nakita niya itong malungkot. Hey, Anna. Is anything wrong? I'm okay. Never mind me. No, you're not. You look like you have a problem. What is it? Even if I tell you my problem, you'd never understand. Me and my Russian boyfriend, they don't even understand each other. What more two of us? We come from different parts of the world. So what? It doesn't matter. You know what, Anna? There are things in life, even if different, when you put them together, will be better. I'll show you. Okay? You, with your complexion, kutis gatas ka. While I, balat ko, kapeng barako. You're like milk and I'm like coffee. 
when you combine the two together, they will taste sweeter. <laughs> you are funny. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> no, seriously. When you laugh, you feel lighter, right? And you should smile a lot more because you look more beautiful. Eric. Yes? I want to apologize about last time. In my country, it's seldom that you see people smiling. And in our culture, it is considered rude when a man is first to give handshake to woman. It should be woman first. So, nice to meet you, Eric. Nice to meet you. Oh, I have an idea. For us to better understand each other. I will teach you Filipino. You will teach me Russian. Okay? Okay. But can I have my hand back? Oh, sure. Sorry. Si Eric ba eh, na-attract ka ba sa kanya nung kauna-una ang pagkakataon na meet mo siya? I met Eric. Um, I had a boyfriend. Tapos si Eric actually oh, had a girlfriend. Friend. I want to make as much friends as I can, so I can um, practice my English. Kaya I was able to uh, speak a lot to with Eric. Kasi siya lagi ng kasama ko. Was that a strategy, Eric? Di naman tita Mel. Kasi actually my girlfriend din ako American that time. American na. Aba. Aba. Yeah. At alam alam yan, alam mo yan Ana na may girlfriend siya. Alam niyo, alam mo. Ito. Kaya actually hindi kami we were not uh, satisfied with our relationship. Like I was complaining about my boyfriend, he was complaining about his girlfriend. Pero hindi siya doon. Ang girlfriend niya ano kasi eh, nasa Cleveland, Cleveland Ohio ko din yung American girlfriend ko. May iwan ko sa California. Ah. So that's it. Oh. So, uh, we're always fighting, so and I saw kay Anna, of course, physically very, talaga naman, very beautiful, so. <laughs> Actually, na no, first two months sa restaurant, we were friends talaga. Then, after maybe one month, I broke up with my boyfriend. He broke up with his girlfriend, tapos... Don't kill yourself, Eric! Uy! Wag! Ano? Papakamatay ako? Hindi naman ah! I'm just cutting onions! Why are you crying? I'm not crying. Dahil lang siguro sa sibuyas. Even though weeks lang kita kilala, Eric, I know may problem. Tell me, what is it? Hindi kami magkaintindihan ng girlfriend ko eh. Hindi ko na nagustuhan yung ugali niya. Kaya ayaw. She broke up with me. Maybe because... I'm not good enough for her. Maybe I'm just an average person. I'm not even good looking. What? She is crazy. You are crazy. Ano crazy? Parang kadiri. Kadiri ba itura ko? Crazy. It's Russian term for handsome. You are guapo. Ako guapo. Is there something wrong with your eyes? Are you colorblind? I'm serious. You are good looking. Me? It's not just about appearance. It's also about what comes from within. You have good heart, Eric. That's why, for me, you are handsome. You are what? Good heart only? How about my face? Very good looking. Mula noon ay mas lalo pang naging malapit sa isa't isa sina Eric at Ana. Hanggang sa tuluyan ng nahulog ang loob at puso ni Eric kay Ana. Bongga naman, dinner. What's the occasion? Kailangan pa ba ng occasion? I mean, every day that we're together is a special occasion, di ba? I know. I know that We've only known each other for a very short time. We're even from two different worlds na pinagtagpo ng tadhana. 
it's a funny coincidence that kakahiwalay rin lang natin sa mga karelasyon natin, di ba? But I think it's fate that we're destined to. I know what you're going to say. Anna, let me finish first. May I have your hand? Please. Patawad, Anna, kung minahal na kita kagad. But I do love you now. Mahal na mahal kita. Mahal mo rin ba? I don't know what to say, Eric. It's useless for me to admit my feelings for you. I'm done with my schooling here in Ohio. I'm going back to Russia. Maybe it's better if we just forget about it. I'm sorry, Eric. So during that period, Eric, needless to say, na miss mo rin naman si Anna, eh, no? At what point mo na-realize na si Anna talaga ang pang forever mo? Well, I, actually, I felt that, like, before maghiwalay, yung babalik na siya sa, sa Russia. Like, uh, bukod sa kanyang maganda, like, physically, of course, but yung ganda ng kalooban niya, doon ako na, ano, parang, oh, I think this is the girl I want to marry. So, talagang every day for that next seven months, I called her on the phone, uh, and after seven months, I told her, like, okay, tara, mag tayo sa Philippines. Mami? Oh. Mm. Baka may pwede ka pang isuggest dito na pwede namin puntaan maliban doon sa mga pamphlets na to. Kasi gusto ko pong makita niya at magustuhan yung mga tanawin dito sa Pilipinas. Baka dahil doon, malay mo. Gumanda rin ang tingin niya sa akin. Magustuhan niya ako. Diba? Ay! Aray. Sorry! Sorry anak, sorry! Mami naman, mukha ba akong insekto? Siyempre hindi naman! Anak, para sa akin, ikaw ang pinakagwapo sa lahat. <laughs> Gusto ko lang naman kasi maging malinis para wala namang masabi si Ana. Pro bono na nga po itong ginagawa ko sa inyo. Kahit medyo hindi naman ako sang ayon sa pagpapersuma kay Ana. Anak, teka muna. Yung bang aircon ay napaayos mo na? Yung para dun sa kwartong gagamitin niya. Ano ka ba? Sa makalawa na ang punta niya dito. Ay, si Anna. Sandali lang po. Hello, Anna. Okay. Okay. Bye. Anak? Bakit? May problema ba? Kailan daw ang arrival niya? Anong oras? Hindi na raw po siya matutuloy dito, Mami. Canceled na raw po yung flight niya. Kaproblema raw po dun sa connecting flight from China to Philippines, kaya mabalik na lang daw po siya ng Russia. Ma, siguro kailangan ko na lang siguro tanggapin na di kami tinadana para sa isa't isa. Yes, this is Eric Bailosis. Uh, Pinapa-cancel ko na yung reservation ko for two sa Boracay. Yes. Thank you. <clears throat> Anna! Sorry! Nandito ka. Akala ko ba hindi natuloy yung flight mo? Eh, di sana nasundo kita. I want to surprise you, Eric. I'm surprised. Because ako, nasurprise ako nung nalaman ko na cancel flight ko. Nalungkot ako. Namiss pala kita, Eric. So, I did everything to be here because iyalublo tibya. 
Mahal na rin kita, Eric. Totoo ba yung sinabi mo? Tama ba yung narinig ko? Mahal mo na rin ako? You really love me? Mahal na mahal kita, Eric. Ako na pa lang si Anna eh. Boto na ako sa kanya. Try mo, try mo to, try mo to, try mo to. Um, uh, Eric, your family's hospitality is too much. They, they don't need to treat me like queen. Naku, anak! Sorry. Masanay ka na. Ganito talaga kami mga Pilipino. Just tell me if you need anything. Mm. Ano mo? Para sa amin, fiesta ngayon. At ikaw ang Reyna, ang tagal ko nang pinagdasal yan sa patron. Itong araw na to na dumating. Mm. Thank you. Nadali talaga, kuya. Dumigil na. Mami, ate, ano ba kayo? Mamaya, maalog ang utak niya ni eh. Layasan ako. Ikaw naman. Eh, mukha namang mabait ito eh. Oh, at hindi pa maselan. Tingnan mo, lahat ng Pinoy na pagkain, kinakain niya. Ay, ganda pa. Ana, yun ko to. I want you to try this. This is another Pinoy delicacy. Ayan. Balot. Oh, what is that Masarap inside? Masarap yan. Come on, eat it. Is that a... Dead baby duck? Hala. Excuse me. Naku, anak! Naglilihin na ba si Ana? Sa ganda niyan at sa malapor sila na niyang balat. Naku, sana naman magbagmana sa'yo. Naku, sigurado ako magkakaroon ako ng akong gwapo at maganda. Mami, tumigil na nga po kayo. Kinagalan ko si Ana. Mamaya, maintindihan niya kayo eh. Umalis siya dito, matauhan. Wala na. Break na kami. Kaya nga, bilisan mo na at huwag ka na magpatumpik-tumpik pa. So when we go to Boracay, that's it. She don't have any idea at all. We're, in, we're doing scuba diving. And they gave me something. They gave me like the, 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 the paper. Okay, so I was just like showing her the poem. Gusto ko sa that it will be memorable or like it will be different compared to other proposal. Even the idea that he proposed to me after seven or eight months of knowing each other, that was a very not common to me. And then the idea of proposing in uh, underwater, it was uh, very interesting. But of course, it was underwater, you cannot express yourself. So once we come out on the surface, that's the time I told him, uh, you know, Eric, I love you. Pero siyempre naman, you need to ask my hand to my parents. Grabe, oh. Ang gaganda ng mga stars, oh. Ang dami nila. <laughs> Pero ikaw, nag-iisa ka lang sa akin. <laughs> Ay! Alam mo ba, natuwa sila mama at papa na nang-age tayo? Nairibas nga ako, nag-propose ako sa'yo. Why? Kasi baka mag ako? Kaya ka ba nag-propose underwater? Para hindi ako makapagsalita? <laughs> Eric, kahit saan ka mag-propose, I will still say yes. Hili ka rin pala mag-stargazing, ano? Parehas pala tayo. <laughs> Pero, I'll tell you a secret. Parang, between ka lang sa akin dati. Yung pangarap kong abutin. Pero I'm so grateful to God because He made my dream come true. And that's you. And now, I promise you, Anna, tutuparin ko rin ang pang pangarap mo. Pangarap natin, Eric. Together, we will make our dreams come true. For better or for worse. In sickness and in health. Till, till death, death do us part. <laughs> Eh, pag ganito ako kalapit, guwapo pa rin ba ako? <laughs> Kahit ganito pa. <laughs> ano first reaction nila sa'yo? Did they like you right away? O nagkaroon ka ba ng feeling na parang talagang tinitignan ka mula head to toe? The only problem is like, they don't speak 
uh, okay. English. Pag nag, nagsalita sila, ang kailangan mabilis ako nagsalita to him or to my parents. That time, my English is not that so good. So, sabi ko, medyo minsan misunderstanding kasi papagos ko translate sa ganyan. Eric, wait! Eric! Why did you leave? Why do you think? I saw your parents' reaction nung malaman nilang ako ang pakakasalan mo. You know, I may not understand them, but ramdam ko, hindi nila ako gusto. I love you so much, Anna. At ayoko maging nanghad lang ako sa pamilya mo. Eric, alam mo naman na iba yung culture namin dito sa Russia. We're not warm and smiley people like you are in the Philippines. Kaya mukhang unwelcome ka. But you misinterpreted my parents. I just talked to them and they're wondering why you left. Eric, we already have their blessing. Talaga? Pahig na silang pakasal tayo? Yes. O, alika na. Balik na tayo dun. Sumahan mo. Matapos muling humarap si Eric, ay tinanggap na ng mga magulang ni Anna si Eric para sa kanilang anak. Grabe bro. Hindi na ako makapaghintay na maisuot to sa kanya sa civil wedding namin bukas. Hands daw talaga ako sa'yo bro. Ikaw na talaga mas pogi sa atin. <laughs> Sabi ko naman sa'yo. Uy! Anna! What are you doing here? Namis kita eh. So, I went here to see you. Come here. Anna, we're not supposed to see each other right before the wedding day. Ganun ang pamahiin namin sa Pilipinas. But that is absurd. What's wrong if I want to see you? I'm your fiancé, Eric. And whether you like it or not, I'm staying here until our wedding day. <sighs> ba talaga babae? Pag-ration pare, ang tatapang. Hindi pa kayo kasal, pero under ka na. <laughs> Pare, kung ganyan ang mga kaganda magiging misis ko, kahit araw-araw, gabi-gabi, payo ko kung maging under. <laughs> Ocho, Tiko Varish. What is funny? Are you making fun of me? No, no, Anna. We're not making fun of you. Pinag-uusapan lang namin yung wedding bukas. Ah, so you think marriage is a joke? Well, marriage is a serious matter, Eric. And until you get serious about it, buti pa, cancel wedding. Anna, please, let me explain. Eric, bakit sa Amerika kayo nagpa-civil wedding? That was your first wedding, right? Yes, Tita Mel. Uh, we did that para mag magkaroon siya ng green card right away. So, uh -huh. parang... Malik siya doon as an exchange student. Yes, pero that time, he really lives in America. Uh, yung church ceremony ninyo dito sa Pilipinas, di ba? 2008? Uh, Did your relatives yes, come? Yes. Your parents and ano? Uh, dumating ba, Anna? Yes, ah, yes. They, they came. Yes. Hi, babe. Hi, babe. Oh, babe. Ba't hindi mo gamitin yung washing machine? Sira na washing machine eh. Sayang naman kung magpapalondry pa tayo. Eh, kailangan natin mabudget. Lalo na if magre-resign ako to take care of our children. Patong-patong na yung bills natin. Delayed pa tayo sa rent. Ah. Ito yung sinasabi ko eh. Oo. Oh. Ako na nga bang magtatapos na. Sige na, tigilan mo na yan. Tigilan mo na yan. Stop it, babe. Stop it. Oo. Oh. Tina mo, nagkasugat-sugat to na tuloy yung daliri mo, yung kamay mo. Puntahan mo na lang yung mga bata, alagaan mo sila dun. Ako nang bahalang solbayin yung mga problema dito sa bahay. Huwag mo na silang itindihan, okay? Okay? Love you. Love you. Pupunta. Bro, aalukin ko yung customer natin na yun. Mukhang mayaman eh. Aalukin ko ng real estate. Bro, I told you already. 
Pag oras ng trabaho, huwag kang magagaganyan. Baka this time masisanti ka na ng boss natin. Bro, kailangan ko pumayod ng doble. Hindi na sapat yung kinikita ko para sa family namin. Kapag pinabalik ko naman si Ana sa pagtatrabaho, mas lalo kami mawala ng oras para sa isa't isa. Alam ko, kahit hindi man niya aminin sa akin, nahihirapan na siya. Bro, ayoko siya nahihirapan. Mas lalo akong malulungkot kapag nagkaganon. Naiintindihan mo, bro? Sige. Mahala ka, bro. Salamat, bro. Sinubukang pasukin ni Eric ang iba pang mga trabaho sa Amerika. Ngunit hindi pa rin siya nagtagumpay. Lalo lamang naghirap ang pamumuhay ni na Eric at Anna sa Ohio. Hindi na talaga kaya ng hita na ang winter dito sa States. Kung malaki-laki lang ang sahod ko, sana nakabili na tayong bagong heater. Nuna pa kasing ipromote ng boss ko yung mga bagong pasok na kanto sa akin na matagal na nag-work dun. Babe! Sorry! Thank you. Are you okay na? Babe, I've been thinking. Paano kung wala rito sa States yung asenso ko? What if nasa Pilipinas? Doon tayo manirahan. Are you kidding? This is a first world country. Everyone wants the American dream. Hindi sa minamaliit ko ang country mo. Maganda sa Philippines, but... Eric, mas maraming opportunities dito sa States. Opportunities? Nasaan ang opportunities? Where are they? At tagal ko nang nag-work dito, wala pa rin ako asenso. I mean, if we go back to the Philippines, baka magamit ko yung pinag-aralan ko. Babe, ayaw kong mag-empleyado forever. I want to have our business of our own. But what about my dream, Eric? What about the promise that you made to my parents? That will make it here in America. Kapag umuwi tayo sa Pilipinas, para na rin natin inamin sa kanila that we failed them. But there's nothing wrong if we, we try. Diba? Susubukan lang naman natin. Then fine. Go back to the Philippines. Alone. I'll stay here in America with our children. Sa States, nag-refuel po, there's more more for us to do than just living our life the way we lived in the in the states i was uh, actually driving one time and uh, i was listening some inspirational and um, you know according to bible mm. you know you need to submit to your husband you need to follow your husband so um ko yung para yung thoughts sa head ko i have to trust my husband So, kung meron siya ng decision, gusto niya to move to the Philippines, why don't we try? Yun ang nag-change ko yung mind ko. Bakit naman kasi umuwi pa kayo dito sa Pilipinas? Ano ba yung naisip mo? Ko, pinagtatawa ng kanila. Para karuta nga. Eh, bakit naman kasi? Ha? Nasa states ka na. Nakahiga ka na sa kama. Lumipat ka pa sa sahig. Mi, hindi por kayo nasa ibang bansa ka na. Maganda buhay niyo. Marami rin din yung hindi siniswerte sa Amerika, tulad ko. Baka dito sa Pilipinas ang swerte ko. Yes, I know, anak. And I'm here to support you all the way. Ang inaalala ko lamang ay itong si Ana at ang mga bata. Makakaya ba nila ang buhay dito sa Pilipinas? Aba, eh baka mamaya klima pa lamang manibago na sila. Makaka-adjust din ho siguro ako. Nagalit din ang parents ko nung nalaman nila na dito kami magmamigrate. Disagree din talaga ako sa desisyon ni Eric. But, na-realize ko, for a marriage to work, 
a wife must support her husband. Di ba, babe? Yes, babe. <laughs> Kaya nga, patunayan ninyo na mali sila. Then, they will rest their case. <sighs> bueno, um, kung may kailangan kayo, magpasabi kayo kaagad, ha? Eric, hmm. pwede kang tumulong sa business natin dito. At ang daddy nyo ay willing na magpahiram ng pera. Salamat na lang sa offer, me. Pero... Malaking tulong na ho yung pagpapatere nyo dito sa amin sa farm. May nakuha na ho akong trabaho bilang real estate agent. Si Ana naman ho, magsusubok maging commercial model sa mga shoots. May awawang Diyos, makakaraos din ho kami. Diba, babe? Mahalas talaga. Babe. Hi, babe. Tagal ko na sa real estate. Di pa rin ako nakakabenta ng properties. Saan galing yung gulay, babe? Inani ko sa farm. Para sa dinner. Paubos na rin kasi savings natin. Babe, sorry ah. Madamay ka pa sa hirap ng buhay dito. Ikaw rin akong maibigay sa'yo yung buhay na pinapangarap para sa atin. Babe, kahit kailan, hindi tayo nakaranas ng gutom. And what's wrong sa mga gulay? This is healthy. Gusto ko nga maging vegetarian kayo like me. ba? Diba, ikaw nga nagturo sa akin ng kanta. Bahay kubo kahit munti ang halaman doon ay sari-sari. <laughs> There you are. Namis ko talaga ang matibay at masayahin kong asawa. Never ka na give up sa akin. And whatever happens, hindi kita susukahan. Susukahan? Bakit? Kasukas ako ba yung mukha ko? I mean, I'll never give up on you. Ah, susukuan. Whatever. What else? Hello? Okay, okay. Thank you. Bye. Sino yun? <laughs> Gusto nila mag-audition ako sa commercial. <laughs> Talaga? Oh my God! Praise the Lord! <laughs> commercial model ka na, babe. Ito na yung hinihintay mong break. <laughs> Nakuha nga si Ana na lumabas sa nasabing commercial. Pagkatapos noon, ay nagkasunod-sunod na ang mga alok kay Ana para maging modelo sa iba-ibang produkto. Dahil dito, unti-unti nang nakaahon si na Eric at Ana. Oh, babe, kinakabahan ka pa rin ba? Pang ilang commercial man to, ah. Hindi ako kinakabahan. Nag-aala lang ako kasi sa commercial may asawa akong lalaki. Okay lang ba yan sa'yo? Sino ba yung lalaking partner mo? Ayun siya. Ha? Ah? Isang paligo lang naman pala lamang sa akin yun eh. Isang hilod lang. O, oh, di ba? Squat pa ako dun. Miss Anna, let's oh, no. go. Ready to pong set. Ah, sige, babe. Good luck. Kaya mo yan. I love you. Thanks, babe. Love you. Ha, Mike? Backward. Atas kang konti. Oh, ito na yan. Tol. Pakapi ka naman. Naantok na ako eh. Bigyan na kita mamaya. Malilay tayo sa party ng modeling agency. Ikaw na lang pumunta rin. Sino magiging escort ko? Eh di yung partner ba doon sa commercial? Total, sabi naman nila bagay raw kayo. Eh, 
Eric, is that the reason why you've been acting so weird lately? Nagsiselos ka ba? Akala ko ba okay lang sa'yo? Hindi talaga kita maintindihan. Hindi ko na rin maintindihan sarili ko eh. Kahit yung nararamdaman ko, hindi ko na rin maintindihan. Alam po, dapat maging masaya ako para sa'yo. Kasi di ba? Tapad mo na yung pangarap mo. Pero bakit ganun? Bakit? Bakit deep inside nasasaktan ako? Nasasaktan ako bilang padre de pamilya kasi dapat ako nagpo-provide para sa inyo eh. Hindi, it's not supposed to be the other way around. Babe. Hindi ko alam na ganun pala yung nararamdaman mo. Babe, I'm your wife. Nung kinasal tayo, binigay ko ang sarili ko sa'yo. So lahat na meron ako, sa'yo rin yun. Dahil iisa lang tayo. Now, if you don't want to go out to the party with me, hindi na ako aalis. I'll even quit modeling if it will make you happy. I'll do everything for you, Eric. Because I love you. Kaya nga sumama ako sa iyo dito sa Pilipinas. Babe, I'm so sorry. It's so selfish of me to think this way. Mali ako. Dapat hindi ako nag-iisip o nakakaramdam ng ganito. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Matapos ang ilang mga hindi pagkakaunawaan ni na Ana at Eric, naging maayos na ulit ang kanilang pagsasama. Hindi nagtagal, dumating na rin ang swerte sa buhay ni Eric. Nagtagumpay na rin siya bilang isang real estate agent. Ginamit nila ang mga kinita nilang pera para magpatayo ng isang resort. Hanggang sa dumating ang COVID-19 pandemic, lubhang naapektuhan ang mag-asawa. Nagsapilit ang magsara ang kanilang resort. Babe, ba't nandito ka pa? Ba't hindi ka pa pumunta sa commercial shoot mo? Because I can't. I was sent I home. I can't hear you. Open the window. I can't, okay? I can't. Eric, I said I can't. Lumayo ka na sa akin. Bakit? Bakit ako lalay sa'yo? Because nag-positive ako sa COVID. Anna, I brought you your lunch. Please open the door. Iwan mo na lang sa labas. Anna, hindi ako aalis dito hanggang sa hindi kita nakikita kong makain. So please, open the door. I said, leave it there and leave me alone. Anna, I will not leave here until you let me in. So please, open the door. Please, Eric. Wag ka na mapilit. Baka mahawa ka pa sa akin. Babe, let me take care of you. Wala akong pakialam kung mahawa ako sa'yo. Hindi ako takot sa COVID na yan. Mas takot ako kung mawala ka sa piling ko. 
Nakalimutan mo naman yung pangako natin sa isa't isa? For better or for worse? and in health. Till death do us part. <laughs> oh, I was separated in the room for one day until we had to swab the whole family. Whole staff, our family, oh. everybody. That's the time we found out that, um... Oh, it's a meeting, babe. It's a little bit. Sorry. It's a meeting, babe. Sorry. Hello? Yes? Thank you. Why? Is there a problem? Lumabas na yung PCR result namin. COVID positive daw ako. Pati yung mga bata, COVID positive din daw. So Eric, how did that feel as head of the family? It becomes also the blessing in disguise that uh, all of us are all together. Siguro we make all of us stronger. We decided we're gonna do a vlog every single day until we oh. recover. Unfortunately, all of us in the family Yes, positive, uh, but uh, we're gonna, we know that we're gonna let pass it. My feelings are still the same. I mean, I have a uh, nose congestion. We have a lost one. We beat the coronavirus. Hey babe. Hi. Kumusta yung mga bata? Ayun, napainom ko na sila ng gamot. Alam mo babe, naisip ko lang. Hmm. Meron man naging magandang epekto yung pagkaka... pagkakaroon natin ng COVID. Yun yung nagkaroon tayo ng more bonding time together. ba? Diba? Kung tutusin nga eh, mas nakakatakot pa nga yung virus na nakuha ko sa'yo nung nakita ka eh. Yung viral lang. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nakakatakot pala ako, ah. Eh, talaga naman, eh. Pero hindi. Seriously, um, napakaswerte ko dahil napaka-understanding ng misis ko. Me also. I'm so lucky in a caring and sweet ang mister ko. Ang guwapo pa. Hmm? Kahit maraming nang baba siya atin, ah, mukha lang raw kong driver mo. Why? Because you're dark-skinned and maputi ako? Whatever color of your skin, pagdating sa love, wala yun. It doesn't matter. Dapat hindi hadlang ang nationality, language, culture. Basta nagkakaintindihan ang mga puso. Isa lang naman ang language of the heart. Di ba? True. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, um, meron tayong darating na mga guests sa susunod susunod na vlog natin as a matter of fact ayun na sila oh ay wait wait hindi ako dyan oops oops sorry sorry hello 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 nice to meet you Eric hello Eric wow we have the same name pa na oh Anna what a coincidence yes hello we just want to say that we found your love story very interesting. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Very. To, yeah, very, very. And to start, would you like to tell us a little about it? How did you two meet? Okay, we met in America and sa some restaurant. <laughs> what is your job? Um, right now, we are interpreters. Yes, uh -huh. so we're uh, resort owners. Building businesses and uh, just discovering ourselves. Go ahead. <laughs> We fall in love, uh, after two months that we've worked here. 
You did not go to a facility, you did not go to a hospital. No. Actually, we were so lucky because the resort is closed. We can go around the resort without infecting anyone. Wow, thank God. Huh? What's such a blessing, huh? Well, I should thank you very, very much for telling us your story, Anna, Eric. Maraming maraming salamat. We wish you good luck huh, in all your endeavors. Huh? Thank you very thank much you. and God bless your family, Eric and Anna. Thank you. Thank you po. Magkaiba man ang kinalakihang lugar at kultura, hindi man magkaintindihan dahil magkaiba ang lingwahe. Ang dalawang pusong tinadhana, gaano man kalayo ang pinagmulan, magtatagpo at magtatagpo pa rin. Kayo ba, naranasan na ninyo ang ganong katitinding challenges sa inyong love life? Paano ninyo pinaglaban ang inyong pagmamahalan at pilit kayong pinaghihiwalay ng iba? Sana ay na-inspire tayong lahat kina Eric at Anna dito sa ating natungayang kwento na nalagpasan ang mga hadlang, pagsubog at pati na itong pandemya upang patunayan na hindi sukatan ang kulay, hitsura at bansang pinagmulan sa dalawang taong nagmamahalan. Ngayon, bukas at magpakailanman.